I did a little bit on I did the same thing on my website somewhere in there. Four stages of gazing. Something similar to this anyway. Uh So stage three, a lot of, we're supposed to move through stage three. We're, we're supposed to progress and then like Trump or MJ teaches, <clears throat> fear just shows up in a kind of unreasonable fashion. Stage three is fear kind of just shows up in an unreasonable fashion. What's the reason for that? What the hell's going on here? And it's it's viewed as a <clears throat> real insult to the ego and a real problem for the ego. The ego is like, well, what is going on? But if you understand the nature of stage three, it's just the next thing, next part of this journey, and it's stage three is huge in the Bardo. Stage two is huge in the Vardo. Stage four could be huge in the Vardo, but if you don't go through stage three properly, you'll never know. <laughs> the whole point of dying is to diverse stage two smoothly with no attachments. <laughs> Nothing to be fine. You're not going to find a home here necessarily. You know, it's not place to find a home. It's just a lustful part in the beginning, which may connect other things, but <clears throat> mainly it's just travel through the land of bliss to get to the stage three. Or whatever, you know, you can spend time in stage two. Spend some time in stage two, you know. Don't get attached to it. Don't think that's what I'm here for. Stage two, no. <laughs> no, that's just a blessed stage at the beginning. Might embrace stage three as much as you can, even though it's unsettling. Even though it's shocking, even though it seems unreasonably impressive. It's how to get to stage four. If you want to get to enlightenment, you have to go through this thing of being kind of unreasonably oppressed by scary things. And you want to help your friend through this stage too, you know. It's also, who's dying, you want to help them understand these things. This will be what they don't know, what they tell you need to know, and you may be the only one that can help them know these things. Of course, it helps if you know it. <laughs> but you can just say these prayers, and that's what it's talking about. Don't stop. Don't get caught by the scary bits. Just keep moving forward, and we'll arrive at our destination. <clears throat> You go through stage three and then it's it. You're purified. You're everything has the sound of your every sound is your own sound. All these scary sounds that happen is just your own mind pointing out the nature of your mind and nothing to be scared of here. It's just my own mind manifesting itself to me as my own mind. Everything is my own mind. There's nothing that's not my own mind. And you just realize that. And once you realize that, that's it. Until you realize that, you have a little more work to do. You know, nausea is part of stage three, I think. As you enter into stage three, a lot of times nausea has a big role. Like 
like you take LSD or something or mescaline and you get sick or right? any of it. <laughs> you get sick and then you go into stage two, stage three possibly, stage four if you go through stage three possibly. <clears throat> I'm not advocating drug taking myself, but I suppose my friend said if it weren't for drugs, there wouldn't be a Buddhism. Everybody comes to Buddhism through drugs. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's no point. It's like getting stuck in stage two if you just keep with the drugs and don't <laughs> advance with the meditation. <clears throat> Whatever. I don't know, I get a lot out of saying prayers for the dying and the dead and a lot of healing, you know. You can heal your relationships. You can heal the people. You can heal yourself. Heal, heal, heal. I guess that's it, my friend.